Hi guys, Postman's Bin. I know what this one is. In fact, it does say air purifier on the back. This is to have a little go at a project that Lid Motor's been working on. And I just thought I might follow along with him, although he's way ahead of me. And by the time you see this video, he'll have finished his project and moved on to something else. Uh, it's a motor run by static electricity, or at least that's probably the easiest way to explain it. Uh, not typical, they got label right over the their label right over the label. Yeah, got to take it off anyway. An iron air purifier. If you look these up, you'll probably find people debating as to whether they're safe or not, because they might create ozone, which is not good for you nowadays. People used to think it was really good for you, and then they changed their minds. It uses low voltage to create high voltage. <laughs> And then the high voltage discharge creates the um, ions. Oh gosh. Okay, it's a very nice package. It's just falling out of there. They actually sell these to hang them around your neck. Yeah, okay. It's got some instructions there somewhere. Wearable, wearable anion air purifier. Instructions for use. Well, I've no intention of using it for what it's actually intended for. Oh, fair set of instructions in various languages. An iron roll, medical assistance, lower blood sugar, blood pressure to prevent neurasthenia, neurasthenia, refreshing immune function, improve treatment of asthma, bronchitis, speed up healing of burns, 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 to prevent neonatal infection, increase the content of white blood cells. Environmental roll, smoke, dust, improve air environment, sterilization, remove odor, human action, promote body's metabolism, activate body in a variety of enzymes. Yeah, all right. Well, whether or not any of that is true, what we're interested in is you can charge it up. So where's the port? Looks like it's under there. Oh, there. <laughs> Why couldn't I see that? Okay, I'll well, plug in there and we can charge it up and it will give off ions. I wonder what that little bit... Oh, yeah, that's the bit that... That's actually a carbon brush that allows the ions to escape. Hmm, okay. Well, I'll do the video on this later. Or another day. Actually need to disassemble it which looks like it'll pull apart this is all sort of soft rubbery stuff oh just switched it on oh that's what that sign is on off okay well yeah i intend to take it apart and use it to drive a little motor just for the purpose of uh disassembly I will just demonstrate because it's all sealed in this sort of rubbery stuff. I can actually push it in from the looks of it. it looks like it might come through. I probably got to clear it around that. There we go. It's 
So the bit we actually want is that bit. Plus it's got a little LiPo battery in it. It might be handy for other things. And an on off switch on there that I keep pressing. There you go. That's what we want. That thing. Not that it makes a particular difference, but I expect that's the the ground and that's the transmitter I'll call it for now. And we can run it off that or we can run it directly off a battery. That's rather nice the way that's all sealed in there. That's tiny. I thought that was bigger than that, but yeah, tiny. Thanks for watching. There's always more information down in the video description. And if you like this video, you might like this one up here. And you might like to have a look at my channel over here. See what else I do. Thank you for watching.